What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Stephanie. Today, I am showing you this first of fall makeup. Autumn is upon us. And you know, it's that transitional period right now. So this look is a little bit summery, but it's definitely got more of a mood to it. For this video, I partnered once again with Sephora for their hashtag Lux at Sephora campaign. So I integrated more of their prestige products into this routine. And I've been loving some of these products for a long time. Sephora really does offer the best assortment of Lux products. And with their huge selection, you can really test out and integrate luxury products into your everyday routine. So before we get into it, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe below. Come join the sisterhood. No matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. Starting off with a clean face, I am stoked to have gotten my hands on another bottle of SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. This is an iconic essence made of Patera, which moisturizes and brightens skin. I don't like to waste a drop of this stuff, so I don't use a cotton round. I just put it onto my hands and pat it onto my face. This essence promotes skin cell renewal and targets dullness and uneven skin texture. This is the very first product that truly got me into luxury skincare years ago, and I definitely see a difference in my skin when I use it regularly. Okay, so after I moisturize, it's time to prime the skin for makeup. Here I have the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is made of layers of pressed silk that creates a smooth canvas to help makeup go on evenly and aids in its longevity. You take this little coin and scrape it till that line and apply it to the face. I also just sometimes use the back of my nail to do this as well. This primer is a protective barrier to keep makeup and pollution out of the skin. These things can lead to clogged pores and breakouts, so clearly that is important. This primer just really makes my skin very prepared to take on makeup. Of course, I gotta prime my eyes. Here I am using my trusty Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I just grab a tiny amount and put that on my eyes and my brows. For the skin, I'm going in first with my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in light beige. This is the color that best matches my body right now. Although I keep getting tanner, so might need to change that shade soon. Um, I just plop that all over my face and a little bit of this stuff goes a very long way. And then I blend it out with my beauty blender. This has been my go-to for full coverage the last couple of months. It works super well with my oily skin and lasts through time and sweat. I love it. For under the eyes and a bit of highlighting, I use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Nude. I just put a little bit under the eyes, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and once again, blend it all out with my Beauty Blender. Next up is baking. For this, I'm using the classic Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Grabbing that with my Beauty Blender, I place that I mean, you know, all over my skin pretty much, but focusing on the under eyes, my chin, nose, forehead. We're just gonna leave that all on while working on the eyes. Starting off with the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette in Mauve Obsessed. I'm grabbing that pink right there with a fluffy blending brush and starting at the outer crease, I'm just blending away, diffusing the color above the crease. My eyelids are a little bit uneven right now, so I did my best to make them as even as possible. Just like eyebrows, eyelids are sisters, not twins. <laughs> Grabbing more of that color with a regular eyeshadow brush, I pack that onto the lid as well. And underneath the lash line too, I don't go all the way to the inner corner though because I'm putting another color in there in a little bit. To make this look really pop, I am adding the Tom Ford Shadow Extreme in 15. Y'all know I love glitter, and this is just like the most beautiful, rosy mauve with glitter integrated in there. These are ultra pigmented single eyeshadows with foil and glitter finishes. You could definitely wear this on its own, but I really wanted to intensify it even more by layering it on top of the pink. So just using my finger, I pack that on the inner corner and like two thirds of the eyelid. The finish is just so pretty and I feel like it's a quite a unique color and the glitter doesn't fall out or anything when you're wearing it. I wore this for like 10 hours and it looked exactly the same at the very end of the night. Going back into the Huda Beauty palette, I'm just grabbing this sparkly pink for something just a little bit different in the lower inner corner of the eyes. And I just apply that with a pencil brush and that's pretty much the eye look. Um, I'm gonna add some lashes and brow highlight in a bit, but at this point, I like to wipe off the bake and apply my brows using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and Brow Duo in Granite. You see me do this a bunch of times, so I just did it off camera. So we're gonna be moving on now to some more skin. 
I seal everything in with my Bobbi Brown Skin Weightless Powder Foundation in Warm Natural 4.5. This step also helps me match my face a bit better to my body. And now we are moving on to the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit in Unlocked. I grab that upper right corner for bronzing. All these colors have a little bit of glow in it too, so you just look very luminous after application. I'm just blending it out here with an angle brush above the hollow of my cheeks, a bit on my forehead, and the excess I just use underneath my jaw. For blush, I grab the middle bottom color. I never thought that I was like a berry blush kind of person, but this one really works for me and is much more of an autumn kind of blush. You know, we're staying on theme here. So I just use a duo fiber brush to apply that. And then for highlight, I use this light pink color. This is actually a blush, I think, but it works great as a highlight for me. It's a very subtle pink, very glowy, but not too full on. Um, I just apply that on the top of my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose and my cupid's bow, and that is it for the face. Moving back into the eyes, I apply my Lancome Seals Booster XL and my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara before applying these Sephora Collection Luxe False Lashes in Plume. I feel like in terms of falsies, these are really high quality, quite natural looking and easy to apply. I just really like how this turned out. It's super straightforward, like all of my eye makeups, but it just feels a little bit more special. To finish it off, I grab more of my highlight color and apply that under the brows. And all we gotta do now is apply the lips. So for lips, I went with this really pretty reddish pink. This is the Dior Rouge lipstick in 772. This is a highly pigmented satin to matte lipstick. This lipstick has a lot of fancy ingredients, including hyaluronic acid spheres for their filling properties and decocks, which creates a volumizing effect. In any case, this lipstick makes my lips look real good, so I like it. And there we have the final look. I'm gonna be real with y'all, after everything was said and done, I looked at myself in the mirror and I was like, dang, you're looking good. <laughs> I really like how this turned out and I truly believe that anyone can pull this off. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to Sephora for partnering with me in this video. I have one final touch and it is my favorite fragrance of the last year. This is the Jo Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt Cologne. I was first introduced to this scent in my last Lux at Sephora campaign, which was back in December and it has been my favorite ever since. This scent has fresh aquatic top notes and the sage and sea salt make it really minerally and earthy at the same time. I just love it. If you haven't smelled it yet, go do yourself a favor and smell it. All right, y'all, if you are interested in any of the Lux products I spoke about in this video, of course, they are linked in the description box down below. Once again, thank you for watching. I love y'all, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.